Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have entered a new country. Today we enter Bolivia. This is the most epic road trip we have ever done. Driving through the middle of nowhere, journeying through desert, lagoons and more until we make it to our final destination, the famous salt flats of Ayuni, Bolivia. In this video, we will be taking you on a three day, two night guided road trip from the Atacama Desert in Chile to the largest salt flats in the world. Good morning guys, so we've just been picked up and we are on our minibus on the way to the Bolivian border where we will cross and hopefully all will be well. Morning from the Bolivian border. So we have today started a two night, three day trip from the Atacama Desert to Ayuni. We are traveling with Cruz Andina Travel. Super early start, up at like 6.30. I've just been at the Chilean border for like two and a half hours. Chile is like the most bureaucratic country ever. But we're finally at the Bolivian. We're now gonna have breakfast. What happens is you get picked up in the Atacama on a minibus, driven to the border. They then drive you through to the Bolivian side. And now we're getting split off into groups and we'll be getting into four by fours, which we'll be traveling in for the next three days. So we've got some super exciting stuff, red lagoon, blue lagoon, green lagoon, hot springs, and then we finish with the Ayuni salt flats, which are the largest salt flats in the world and the big highlight of the trip. So yeah, big three days ahead. Just stopped after the second immigration point for a little bit of breakfast and I am absolutely over the moon because one, there's English breakfast tea. If you've watched a few of our vlogs, you know how much I need one in the morning. And two, there's smashed avo, people. We're literally in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere, on the side of a van, and we've got smashed avo for brekkie. Love that. So after the passport control, you come down to the National Park where you have to show your passport again. One of the forms, you have to do like two forms online to get into Bolivia. We have no idea what they're for. And we actually did ours wrong. We put the wrong country and the wrong names, but our name's wrong. And I put myself down as a business and not as a person. And yet they still worked. And then you come to another office and you have to pay 150 Bolivianos each, which, what is that? First time working out. That's like 17 pounds each, I think. And that's National Park entry fee for the three days sorted. And then you pay smaller amounts for the other places. And the first stop is literally right behind me, Laguna Verde y Laguna Blanco. And it's just like a five minute drive from passport control. So I think we're gonna head down there in a minute. We've just come to our second stop of today, which is Laguna Verde. Not so verde right now, but equally as beautiful nonetheless. It is kind of connected to Laguna Blanco, <laughs> the White Lagoon, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. There are two volcanoes that sit right behind the lagoon, which makes beautiful framing and such a great backdrop. The lagoon does go green in the afternoon, so I imagine if you're coming from Bolivia to Chile, you'd be finishing here, so you'd actually see it in the evening, so you would see it green, but unfortunately for us, it's kind of blue. So we're now just waiting for about 15, 20 minutes because the lagoon is actually changing colour in front of our eyes. We'll look at this. Just see where the really bright blue is coming in. And now it's all going to be bright blue. So stop number one, two, three, four. So we had a quick stop off at the sand dunes, very, very briefly. Views were insane though. And now we've just come to a natural hot spring, I believe, which is meant to be about 30 degrees. Lovely. Sorry, Lewis just interrupted my vlog. Anyway, it's caliente, it's hot. And um, there's some flamingos actually so close. It's so cool. Ay, abuela, abuela, abuela. So 
finished our lunch, which was so lovely, super fresh, loads of vegetables, which makes a change. So that was really nice. And now we've just stopped at the next stop, which I believe is stop number five. We're back at some geysers. We love a geyser, honestly. This is what the moon feels like. Obviously I've not been, but that's what I imagine it feels like. Absolutely epic. We've got some awesome drone footage. Take a look at this. to our final stop of the day. I can't remember the name of the lagoon. The Red Lagoon and I don't know if you can see behind me but we'll show you some incredible shots of just how many flamingos are here. This is the most amount of flamingos we've seen in one place in our whole trip in South America so far. So this is really special. Flamingos are my absolute favorite. So about half seven and we arrived at the hotel. Room's all right, nice double bed. We've got a private room. You can get dorms or privates on the tour. That's the job. Dinner has just been served. It's, we're literally gonna eat dinner and go to bed because we're absolutely knackered. Some form of soup for a starter. Morning everybody. So day two of our trip. What would you call it? It's the um, trip from the Atacama Desert to, to Aini. Aini. The salt flats to The salt flats. Yeah, okay. yeah. So day two of that trip and we've just stopped at... We have stopped at a rock that looks like the World Cup trophy. So it's called the Copa del Mundo, I suppose. Piedra is rock. Yeah, kind of looks like it yeah. in a way. Good night's sleep I had. I mean, we had like a, literally like a 12 hour sleep. Yeah, we did sleep for ages. The lift's got a splitting headache. We're at like 4,000 yeah. meters at the hotel. So the altitude is just crazy. But yeah, today we're going over to the city of the rocks, which is just behind us. And what else are we doing? Seeing a couple of lagoons. And then I think we're going through a drive, like through a valley where supposedly there's loads of animals. So that's pretty cool. And then we arrive at a salt hotel later tonight. Yeah. I think it's made out of salt to be confirmed though might just be the name of it yeah it's like right in the salt flats so yeah we didn't we didn't vlog breakfast but it was it was nice as lewis said i wasn't feeling still i'm not feeling too fab but we'll make sure we vlog that for you tomorrow although it'll probably be on the salt flats tomorrow so that's way more interesting and dinner we vlogged a little bit but we had just meat rice veggies yeah it was good wasn't it yeah, was nice good so far. Was yeah good. oh yeah and soup and a little peach for dessert so yeah all good <laughs> at Laguna Vinto, more flamingos. Not as pink as yesterday's, yesterday's was amazing, but always good to see the flamingos rocking about.
final stop before lunch was Laguna Catal. Really beautiful, again, as everywhere is on this tour. And now we just stopped for a little bit of lunch with the gang. And then we'll be heading off again. What a lunch we've got here. <laughs> We're not going hungry on this trip, are we? No. <laughs> How steep is it? This bit's not too bad. <sighs> that bit down there, you stop of the day was a bar essentially in the middle of the desert which was really cool right next to the salt flats we've just checked into our second hotel which is so lovely this is the cruise andina hotel which is actually the name of the tour company that we have come with so it's their hotel yeah really lovely hotel everything's made out of salt which is really cool even the bed really cool um now we're gonna have a coffee on the balcony and then see what else happens tonight so we have carvings of animals all in the hotel Look down on here, eagle, lion, fox, so cool. If you like rub the wall, the salt comes off. Yeah, even the ceiling, like the whole place made out of salt, so cool. This is the dining room with a view over the start of the salt flats, which is where we'll be going at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. everyone from the Ayumi Salt Flats. Ah! We were up this morning at four o'clock, well half four, and it's now about 6 a.m. The sun is starting to rise. We've got a little bit on the horizon and we're just gonna wait till it rises properly. This is a bucket list moment. Absolutely amazing. Can't get over it. Can't wait for the sun to rise and for us to see some more. So Lewis is still in the car. It's about minus one out here. He is very cold. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I've already said where we are and what we're doing. Yeah. How do you feel? Bloody frozen. I feel like five layers on this so cold. Bucket list though. So cold. I could have my thermals on but I've of course got to wear a shirt so that we can do some nice photos. That's <laughs> not ideal. Amazing. Yeah, it's thank amazing. you. That's what I was looking for. It's beautiful. So we just had some fun on the salt flats and now we've come to Isla Incahuasi, which is a mountain, I guess, in the middle of the salt flats, full of cacti. Again, if flamingos were my favorite animal, then cacti are my favorite plant. So we're gonna have loads of fun here. finish on Cactus Island, I got it wrong before, the Casa of the Incas, and now we're having a gorgeous little breakfast right on the salt flats. I feel like I'm in a movie. It's very salty, god, it's quite nice though. <laughs> We've just made 
made a short drive to an area where the whole of the salt flats has natural hexagons on the floor and you've probably seen a lot of these photos and videos before they're super fun they're perspective based and we're going to do a load of them now so i'll show you a bit of the behind the scenes before we show you what we create Uno, dos, tres. Atención. Okay. Aquí es good. Sí, sí, está bien. Uno, dos, tres. Ya, yeah. eso. Muy bien. <laughs> Uno, dos, okay. tres. Más, 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 más. Más, 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 más. Más, 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 más. Come to the Flag Museum. Is that what it's called? Uh, no, it's the Salt Museum, and it's I don't really know what it is. It's just loads of they call them banderas. It's just the flags of all the different countries and random football teams outside the museum. Pretty cool. Uh, we're trying to find the English flag, but I don't think there is one. They don't like us. An English flag. What's Way left no of it? Whoa. Tiny bit. Represent. Alright okay guys, it's the final stop of the tour. We're gonna have lunch back in the town and we'll head back to the office. Uh, but we are now at the cemetery of the trains, which are the first trains ever in Bolivia, which used to run the minerals from my uni down to Antofagasta in Chile. So there's loads of rusty old trains that we're gonna go check out. We even built a swing on the trains. Ugh. Final lunch. The last supper. The last supper. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode on the Ayuni Salt Flats. We hope you have enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed being there and we hope we have inspired you to potentially visit one day. Our recommendation would be to go when there's definitely going to be a reflection. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Make sure you like, share, subscribe and leave us a comment, say hello and we will see you in our next adventure. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. There's two volcanoes that... What's the word? crazy <laughs> has natural hexa hexa hexagons <laughs>